The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would, re- you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Goodbyes and farewells are not so easy to do. Sometimes it could be very joyful, sometimes very sad, sometimes a mixture of both. Depends on the context of the goodbye or the farewell. You have seen a lot of goodbyes. You know, you may have seen some goodbyes in bus stations, train stations, airports, even in churches, you know, in their families, in schools, you know. A lot of goodbyes and farewells happen in our life. And I know you must have been involved in many goodbyes and farewells. Like I said before, it's not so easy. It could be very emotional. At this time of the church's uh, year, uh, Easter period, Jesus is saying goodbyes to his disciples letting them know that he's going to leave, that the time will come when, when they will not see him anymore. We will not be there for them physically. They do not understand what he was saying, but have a, they have an idea of someone going away, but they don't know what type of going away is this. Is he going to die? Why is he living? He's a powerful guy. Where is he going? He should be here. We are comfortable with him here, you know. So it's just like a mixture of this thought going to the heads of the apostles when he says, I'm going away. I'm going to leave you. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to come back. You know, they don't understand it. Is he traveling to anywhere? Where, where, where is he going? And so Jesus Christ tells us this as his followers to know that at some point in our life, we may feel that he's not there. There are points in your life you feel that God is not there. And you say, God, where are you? God, where have you been? You left me. You know what I mean? We all have the same experience of God not being there for us when we think we needed him. When we think he should have been there for us to defend us, to save us, or to talk to us. But it's like, where are you, God? And so Jesus Christ is warning them about this experience they will be having from time to time. And it is real. It's a real experience. It's not just imaginary. It's a very real experience. He pointed out two things. Number one, that the the prevalence of evil, I mean, sorry, the existence of evil in our life. He told them that the rule of the world is going to be around. We all experience evil in our our life, in the world. The apostles today in the first reading experienced evil in their life, jealousy, they took some beatings. They, have, they, they experienced pain. If, if, in fact, near death. Those are examples of evil in the life, in the world. Even though they were preaching the gospel, they were doing the right thing. But they, they, they also suffered that experience of evil. The second point is he was giving them the parting gift. That in spite of this evil and problems and turmoils, be at peace. 
I will give you my gift of peace. Very wonderful. And I think we all need that gift of peace from him. Every time, every day. This type of peace is what is called the peace of wholeness. The peace that overrides you, your whole being, your whole experience, your whole life. Spiritual, physical, psychological. Not just one aspect of your life. It, it perverts your whole being. And Christ said, it's a gift I'm giving to you. Our prayer is that we receive this gift in this mass. And may this gift be permanent with us. And abide in us. And stay with us. Because we need this gift every day of our life. May God bless us as we continue to live for Christ and in Christ in spite of the evils in the world. And may his peace also be with us. God bless you all. Let our